石の上にも三年 sitting on the rock for three years. Do you know what it means? Let's find out. What's up, Japan enthusiasts? Mina san, konnichiwa. I'm Max. Welcome back to my channel where we dive into the world of Nihongo and Japanese culture. Proverbs or kotowaza in Japanese are well known sayings that often express something in a few or worse. So they are used to tell a deep meaning or something that helps with your life. So today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you some of the proverbs in Japanese, kotowaza, that we Japanese people actually use in daily life. Let's get into it. So the first one is chiri mo tsumoreba yama to naru. Chiri mo tsumoreba yama to naru. Chiri mo tsumoreba yama to naru. So if you simply translate it into English, chiri is dust. Tsumoru is to be compiled, and yama is mountain, so chiri mo tsumoreba yama to naru. Dust piled up becomes mountains. So what it actually means is every little bit counts. So even if you are doing something little by little, if you are、uh, making an effort little by little, day by day, at some point that's gonna give you. A big result, or that leads you to something better, or more, or successful. And in Japan, we actually use it like chiri tsumo, chiri tsumo. So that's like an abbreviation of chiri mo tsumoreba yama to naru, chiri tsumo, chiri tsumo. So when you are in a situation like somebody is making an effort, somebody is ganbatte ru. Then you can say chiri tsumo, chiri tsumo. That means one day you get it. We use it a lot. So I'm editing the video right now, and I'm so sorry that I lost the footage that I took for this part. So the next one is hakubun wa ikken ni shikazu. Hakubun wa ikken ni shikazu. Hakubun wa ikken ni shikazu. And the explanation part is still alive, so let's get back to it. So, if you simply directly translate it into English, that means 100 hearings isn't one seeing. I think you can guess what it means. Seeing is believing. So, even if you heard about this thing a thousand times, hundred times, it still doesn't make a clear picture in your mind, right? Unless you actually see it with your own eyes. So seeing is believing. Hakubun wa ikken ni shikazu. And the next one is isogaba maware. Isogaba maware. Isogaba maware. So it's kind of hard to translate it directly into English. So I'm just gonna tell you what it means. Isogaba maware basically means that take that safer route. To get to your final destination, the saying is basically telling you not to rush, not to hurry. Just take your time, and you'll get there at some point. And the next one is hotoke no kao mo sando made. Hotoke no kao mo sando made. Hotoke no kao mo sando made. Hotoke means basically Buddha, and kao is face. Sando is three times, made is until. Directly translated into English, it is gonna be something like even Buddha's face is up to three times. What does it mean? Even the Buddha, who is supposed to be super kind and nice to people and super forgiving, is gonna get mad at your third time of being disrespectful. You shouldn't do so many bad things so many times. Even kind people can get mad if they keep getting harassed by some people, right? So don't expect somebody to be forever kind. To you, hotoke no kao mo sando made. All right, all right, all right. So we have three more kotowaza that I wanna tell you in this video, and those are actually the ones that we actually use in daily life. All right. So the next one is hayaoki wa san mon no toku. 
早起きは三文の徳早起きは三文の徳 You don't have to know exactly what each word means but 早起き is waking up early and 三文三 is three 文 is actually a currency that used to be used in Japan and 徳 means like virtue 早起きは三文の徳 is basically telling you that waking up early is good for you so in English it basically means the early bird gets the war if you wake up early there's something good waiting for you 早起きは三文の徳 the next one is 東大元暮らし東大元暮らし東大元暮らし東大東大 is a lighthouse lighthouse and 元 blah blah 元 means by something or under something or like below beneath something and 暮らし basically means 暗い which is dark so the meaning of this saying is that it's dark under the lighthouse right it's dark under the lighthouse so what does it mean it's actually harder to see or understand what's going on right around you near you so the english equivalent would be something like it is hard to see what is under your nose for example how we use it in japanese in daily life is like you are trying to find For example, your smartphone. You can't find it anywhere. You can't find it anywhere. And you ask your mom, hey, where's my smartphone? Like, Ore no smaho doko? Ore no smaho doko? Sagashte ru nen kedo. Mitsukara hen. Then your mom says, eh, so ko ni haru yan. And it's right, right under your butt. Todai moto kurashi. Todai moto kurashi. That's how you use it. Finally, the last one. The last one is the one I said in the very beginning of this video. Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. So I said that sitting on the rock for three years, right? What does it mean? What could it mean? Patience is a virtue. Patience is a virtue. That is Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. So the koto waza, Ishi no ue ni mo san nen, is actually telling you to be patient and sit tight even in severe situations. Sometime, someday, at some point in your life, a good result is gonna come to you. So, for example,、uh, you started playing some kind of sport, let's say basketball, because I, I like basketball. I just started playing basketball. And I can dribble well, I can pass well, I can shoot well. You could say, Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. Motto, len shu shite, jikan o kakereba, umaku naru yo. If you practice more, take your time, you get there, you get better. Ishi no ue ni mo san nen. So even sitting on, the, sitting on the stone for three years waiting for something, If you wait on the rock for three years, something's gonna come to you. That is Ishi no Ue ni mo san nen. So that's it for today's video.、Um, how was it? Did you know any of the proverbs, koto waza, that I showed you in this video? Or did you learn something new in this video? And if you liked the video, please hit the like and please comment below what koto waza you like. Or what koto waza you liked in this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, Max Japanese, please subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.